Hi folks, in today's video tutorial I am going to show you how to work with the contact and directly I got a question how to repair this assembly. So let's try have a look what is created here and we can try to do it maybe properly. Let's see, yeah, I will wait for your answer on the video tutorial. Now if I will have a look in the cylinder, so over there if I will select the definition we see that was definite as the cylinder and the connection both between surface and edge. So if I will select here, it's possible to see the surface. Maybe this by dragger I can put it away. And over there is possible to see edge. So what does it mean? That after you have created the contact, so if I will select the application mechanism, over here you specify the 3D contact and 3D contact was defined and we can have a look here in the model tree. So if I will select the definition, we see the 3D contact was specified between two surfaces, yeah, that you don't want to touch these the surfaces and system has to fall down if possible. But let's see if I will check the analysis. So let's see here at the definition for the analysis. The initial condition has been specified, perfect. Duration 2 and frame rate 60. And external loads enable gravity, enable friction. So gravity has been defined also. No motors. Yeah, and dynamic analysis. Let's run and let's see what will be happen. Bang. I think that nobody is satisfied with this result. So if I will select dragger and snapshot, so I will reuse the snapshot. This is not what you want. Yeah. This is what I understand. So let's try to do it properly. So I will close this one. I don't want to save. And I will delete contact. We don't need it now. And also I will specify the cylinder and I will use the functionality edit definition. And the uh, actual connection and constraint I will delete. So simple and easy. With the dragger you can move up if necessary. And I will reuse the functionality 6 DOF, so will be 6 degree, degree of freedom. And over here is necessary select two coordinate system from the cylinder and then from the assembly. Nothing more. I don't want to specify more. Let's try what will be happen. So only I move it up. So I will confirm. Now you see that is the space here. No problem, because if you will select application and mechanism, now we will create 3D contact, but directly between the bottom surface because this is makes sense and then you can specify as the contact reference this point and for example this point yeah if you will have more points here it's better because you will really reuse best practice is to use the three point yeah so you can create new point and then select the third one but for a quick example vertex radius if you will have a look here the system will fall down and push and stop on this reference radius so something less for example 0 0.5 you see that is really small one yeah so it's up to you what you will specify if you will specify 0. I, I don't know 8 yeah so let's try let's see if i will come from okay so now a few millimeters or the you can specify custom dimensions as you want so if you will run now the actual analysis so we can simply to select the run the system will move and stop on the 3d contact yeah perfect this is this is good and if you will have a look here now the system don't fell down because the 3d contact is between surface and vertexes yes yeah, so it's not possible and system do not fall down what we would like to do analyze if i will move this component to left if it will be fell down to the free space so what we need to do I will select the and close. I will move. Maybe we can have a look in the dragger and I will create new snapshot. And it's a position one. Yep. Yeah. And then we will create new position two. So if we will select the cylinder, edit definition and simple, we will move it away. So something like this. Yeah. So it will be where is the default Centrigravity, gravity it's outside of this inside cylinder yeah 
So OK, come from OK. So axis, if I will visualize the axis, it's outside of the previous one, so it's OK. So now if you will have a look here, I hope so, that will be fell down. Let's try if the system calculate properly what I calculate or what I think, that will be good. And I will jump to the mechanism. What we have to be careful that if I will select analyze, no, maybe I can select and create new snapshot for position two. Yeah, position two, zero two, maybe out. You know what I mean? So we have position inside and outside. So now we would like to start from outside. And if I will go to the analyze, I will select the definition. And now I don't want to use the condition initial state, but I will use the current placement. Everything is specified, no motors, external loads are here, so I can run and have a look. You can see that it's failing down outside. Yeah, so the system calculated and then fell down. Over there is the friction, you can see here directly, and going really, really well and really, really nice. And then fell down really fast, yeah, because over there is no more friction and gravity took model away and fell down yeah perfect and if you would like to animate it's not problem you can select analyzes definition and run what we can do we can have a look how it's going there you see over there is the gap regarding the contact what has been specified so if you will specify the less value of the diameter will be closer but for now for quickly i we are fine and if I will animate you see that it's going really nice so yeah if you will go back and then fell down nothing is falling down to inside everything is go outside as planet so it was over here really quick explanation how to specify the 3d contact between planar surface and vertex and then how the system able to use the gravity and friction and all this stuff. If you would like to specify the additional information for 3D contact, select the edit definition for 3D contact, specify the friction, specify the additional value, for example, damping and so on. Or if you would like to know more about the 3D contact, check previous tutorial and like this one and share it with your friends. Thanks and bye bye. Vladimir.